hello my people it's your girl again gather new get out am ukipenda tashin steam ah nimekama again kuletea show kali show moto and uh, kumbuka hapa ni place tunasemanga we bring encouragement to your home ama place yenye yote huko kama uja subscribe na ni siku yako ya kwanza ama umekuwa ukiwatch ujakuwa ukisubscribe make sure you do like share comment and ensure hizi videos zetu zinaenda viral everywhere kwa kila social media leo niko na guest atatuambia story yake atatusho mbona ko hapa so before we go on nataka tumjue so karibu sana asante ai changamka bwana ai mambo umefika nimefika yeah so karibu sana mm. hii ni familia yetu ya itugeti tv tunakuanga wengi mm-hmm. na pia wale wa online familia yetu bigi mm. na tunawapenda sana so ebu ambie we ni nani mimi naitwa Pauline nimelelewa mtao korokocho na ni kwa na watoto wawili Kastiana na Mvlana. Mvlana ko 7 years na Kastiana kako 1 and a half. Eh, mimi primary ni mimi madhi yangu alikuwa anaitwa Wanjiku. Masi Wanjiku alikuwa single parent juu aliko sana and somehow aliko sananga so tujai jua baba yetu. So tuko watatu na mimi ndio last born. Na in the process ya kugrow hivyo with a single parent ilifika mahali madhi akagonjekanga akaenda madhi aligonjeka alikuwa tu shida ya mwili so juu hiyo time nilikuwa mdogo hata sikuelewa ni shida gani lakini sana sana ilikuwa shida ya typhoid so nikiwa class 2 ndio akapasingi ilikuwa ni 205 so when he pass mungu naye akatonekania bali na kugrow jutungia acho tu hivyo tungekuwa wabaya yeah. Mungu akatuonekania tukachukulia children so mimi najita hikima place mm-hmm. ilikuwa na raniwa na mzungu and that time alikuwa ameanza children home to 5 so si tulienda ya children home to 6 okay january so benya tulienda mimi nikaingia class 3 mm-hmm. na second born wetu alikuwa class 4 mm-hmm. na huyo first born wetu alikuwa class 6 mm-hmm kuingia huko kwa maisha kukuwa mbaya tulilo vizuri mm-hmm. lakini unajua uwezi sema hiyo upendo ya mzazi wako si kama ya huko juu tulikuwa wengi mm-hmm. at that time tulikuwa watoto 25 yeah. tumelelewa hivyo tumelelewa mm-hmm. tukamaliza nikapeleka shule nilikuwa na jita hekima hekima primary mm-hmm. along Karen Tungong Road mm-hmm menye tukaenda hivyo tukatolewa wale watoto bright sana sana tukapelekwa public it was expensive yeah. kulipa the place where alikuwa amekomboa kutuweka mm-hmm. sasa ikabidi tumepelekwa public, public school, school currency mm-hmm. iko kwa side ya current na public one mm-hmm. kwenda huko sasa i guess kupatana na watoto wa huko mm-hmm. pia hapo hiyo shule iko karibu na slums yeah. so hapo na hapo maisha tukangana tu unaenda tu shule unangangana mm-hmm tukamaliza nikiwa nikiwa class 7 tukachenjo tukapeleka kuwa huyo madhi ametulea huyo mam anakuwa mm-hmm. amebaki kiserian yeah. so venye tulienda kiserian mm-hmm. eh venye alinua kiserian wakajenga so 2010 mm-hmm. tuka tukashiftia huko hiyo time ndo nilikuwa namaliza class 8 mm-hmm. nilikuwa naingia class 7 sana nimalizie class 8 mm-hmm tuka ah nilikuwa class 8 class 7 that yeah. time ndo tukashift huko January so nilikuwa naingia so, class, class 8 ndo kaingia huko eh hiyo shule nilikuwa najiita huko uko na baridi huko Kiserian uh-huh. tukakaa huko nikamaliza class 8 tuka nikaitwa shule venye wakatosi zilitokea nikafanya exam uh-huh. exam siku ambaye vile at least nilijaribu nikaitwa shule nzuri uh-huh. nikaleta shule iko hapa mountain view uh-huh. St Catherine's Mountain View yeah. hapa Safari Park mm-hmm. lakini kukuja huko it was expensive mm-hmm. na kuna watoto wengine pia kupeleka shule yeah. so ikabidi nime transfer hiyo to a cheaper one mm-hmm. at least less costly mm-hmm. uko na kuru nilisoma tu ta moja huko nikapeleka huko kwingine ilikuwa so, najiita maisha yako ni imekuwa tu kushift kushift tu kushift kutoka <laughs> hapa tu hapa hapa tu hapa yeah. 
Nikaenda na kuru. Shule liko na Jita Lakewood. Lakini sasa huko it was a bit challenging juu watoto wenyu wako huko. Sisi kama mimi personally nimelelewa kwa ghetto, nimezaliwa ghetto, nimelelewa ghetto. Yaani maisha mengine ninaona ni geni kigeni. Yeah. Alafu mali pia tumelelewa children home una learn to share juu in that place tulikuwa tunaita nanga my sisters. Juu tu juu. Kwa kila mtu nadwanga ni sister. Ni sister eh. Auntie mom. Na wale men walikuwa na wako huko kama gardeners na watu wa nini? Wakunda vitu hawa zetu kwa tunawaita uncle so. Yaani tulikuwa alafu hakuna ku travel travel so hata utajuana na watu huko tu hapo content hapo. So umeingia huko maisha umepata kuna watu wako na mado watu wako high class na wewe then there is you eh unapata shopping ya shule mhm unapata umeke watu kitu kidogo kiasi ndio hata wengine pia wapa lakini juu mali umetoka coach unaona uko tu sawa na hiyo ni afadhali lakini huko watoto naye shopping zenye walikuwa nakuja nayo pocket money wao kipewa 2000 mtu hata nakuja na tao 10 so naona wao na minimize so to a point nikisema hata mimi nilichukuliwa mahali nikapelekwa mahali nilikuwa ninawanda mhm na wanye nimeacha nikiangalia nyuma kuna shosho yangu yeah yeye ndiye alishughulikia madhi yangu hadi venye madhi yangu alipas so ninaangalia hiyo maisha hapo nyuma naona hapana so at some point hata pesa yangu pocket money nilikuwa situmia hata ninapeleka eh na kuja before niende huko kiserian malitumelelewa heri nipande gari nikishafika hata au nikuja kwanza nimwachie pesa hata saa zingine kufua sabuni na nini hata heri niombe hizo vitu zangu nilete shushu ya cuz i high school inakuanga pia nae ni maisha ya unaweza soma tamzima na tishu ya mm, mtu tishu. Yes, sabuni ya mtu yeah. una uko sawa cuz kuna watu wanaenda wana misplace sabuni bado unapata sabuni eh yeah, sasa so, unaletea shusho yes yes yeah, sasa kulikuwa hivyo uh-huh. shopping yangu situmika ni mti nimebaiwa hii ya menengai na kata tu kadogo uh-huh. er, sabuni ya sunlight 1 kg naeka tu so nilikuwa namletanga tu hivyo sasa i guess juu ya mimi kuona venye hata yeye pia na struggle kulipa nyumba ama nini pocket money yangu nilikuwa naikanga namletea yeah. to a point na sisi sema ni mimi tu peke yangu hata wao wengine walikuwa na na venye wanaletea juu anaona hata kama tumepelekwa mahali hapa tusisahau mali tumetoka kweli so venye niliingia form 1 nikasoma hiyo mwaka moja mm-hmm. kwenda form 2 mm-hmm. Mambo ndo ikaribika. What happened? Okay, unajua sasa hiyo pia pressure ya wasichana. Unajua high school tu venye kuna kuanga na wasichana wengi hadi naonyeshana huwa wanapata mimba at that point. Mm. At that time I was around 17. 16, 16 hapo 17. Yeah. Ndio nilikuwa naenda 17 kusema. Uh-huh. It was hard for me juu wenye nilikuwa nakuja huku mm. unaangalia hata mafikiria zangu mingi ilikuwa inasema hata nikisoma hivyo vyote unasoma na siku hizi ninajua hata connection za kazi lazima upate kwenda connection hata so, nikisoma hivi vyote ama nikisoma hata mama amengangana na pia kuna watoto wanaletwa you at some point unajua the more wenye tulihamia kiseri and so watoto walianza kuongezeka okay. si venye tulikuwa yeah. so vitu zingine zinaenda zikipungu zikipungua so, vitu zingine sponsors. tulikuwa na sponsors wenye wanakulipia fees na nini lakini uh-huh. ukiangalia vitu zingine pia zinapungu zinapunguka zina maybe unapata mpungu. kutoka pocket money kutoka hivi na pungua hivyo yeah. sasa yes. so life ilikuwa tu hivyo tuna struggle struggle uh-huh. nikikuja huku holiday hata kuna sometime nilikuwa naona hata kuna haja kukam heri nibaki juu ndakuja nikuja ile fee nimepatiwa kutoka huko hadi kurudi inaenda up tumetumia kwa fea peke yake hata si kwa fea kwa food unajua unapatiwa fea kukuja na kurudi yes kwa kurudi yeah. unapata nimepatiwa thao lakini tukikuja hmm. hakuna food nitakuja tuangaliane hapo okay. sasa inabidi tumetoa hiyo pesa yetu hadi ile time ya kurudi shule hmm. unapata umedile kwenda shule wow. so life tukiendelea hivyo nikapata na kijana mwingine huko tu slums coach mm-hmm. 
at least yeye alikuwa bit older a bit older than me jadi alikuwa alikuwa na plot yao na ame ako na kanyumba mm-hmm. so hata nikiangalia hivi nilikuwa nadhani maybe hata after hizo zote mm-hmm. juna job to melelo slums na amechukua mahali na bado anaenda napata mm-hmm. shule bado amepelekea watoto wako na pesa uwezi nini bado inafanya huo mtu ajirudishe nyu Yeah. aone hata nikisema ati najeka kama kiwango kama hao na mimi huko yeah, kwetu mali nimetoka uh-huh. so tukaenda hivyo maisha ikakuwa tu hivyo nikangangana hiyo uh-huh. haraka ya kupatana ni kijana tulipatana tukapendana singesema ati alikuwa mbaya lakini mambo ikaenda nikapata mimba in that period ya six months lakini sikujua ati niko na mimba uh-huh. venye nilirudi shule ndio nikaanza kusikia hiyo after miezi tatu nikaanza kusikia So ikapata hizo miezi sato si ndio tuna nini alafu to break another one month. Mimi nikasema sitarudi. Nilichukua simu nikapigia mama Lutuza nikamwambia mimi sitaweza kurudi hata hawa kukuwa mediscover kitu kama hiyo. Okay, ulipiga simu ukiwa coach. Nilipiga simu nikiwa coach nikamwambia mimi sitarudi. By then nilipitishanga masiku ya watu kurudi. Mimi mm-hmm. nikawa nikamwambia kina masisi au madada zangu nyi rudini mimi mm-hmm. nitapiga tu simu mwenyewe ni on my mistake okay. kitu imefanyika. Mm-hmm. So nili gather up courage nikampigia. Mm-hmm uzuri ni ati huyo mama alinikubali venye nilikuwa na akaniambia kitu umefanya mzuri mm-hmm. sijaiona msichana jumu mwingine atange ongeenda angeenda afanye vitu zake huko mm-hmm. after ameshagonjeka juu sa mimba wewe nagonjesha huko overbleed na nini yeah. uanze kutupigia simu kesa so umeelewa tukuje tujoni mimba ulikuwa natoa heri wewe umeona mm-hmm. na umetuambia mm-hmm. lakini ile siku utakuwa na shida yote wewe unipigi mm-hmm. na ukimaliza kuzaa mimi ndakurudisha shule wow eh. So what do you feel like after? As in you feel like relieved lakini mm-hmm. I guess pia mimi kitu ninasemanga si regretting sana ati naweza sema ilikuwa inifunze kitu in life unaona mm-hmm. juu at that point venye niliza huyo mm-hmm. kijana akukata lakini mimi nilimwambia juu mimi ndio wewe ulimwambia ngapi ni nilimwambia ah ah nilimwambia tu mapema mapema nikamwambia lakini mm-hmm. wacha tu tukae tu hivyo unaona So mimi after nilipata mtu huyu mm-hmm. nikiwa husi mtu huyu akapas. So hiyo kupas after nimeza mtu huyu akadevelop shida. Mm-hmm. Tukiwa tu husi na siku siku mbili mtu huyu akadidi. Yeah, so. yeah. Then so after at that point hata ile mtu ukua na hiyo hiyo ku grief hiyo that moment nilisema maybe god alikuwa na plans how, zingine how na siku kwa na eh yani uko yangu uko naivu eh nikasema na maybe na, maybe mungu ameona mimi mdogo sana mbona nitatesa huyu mtoto maana <laughs> nika mungu aliona eh huyo alafu pia unaona ngapi vitu zingine huwa zinafanyika for a purpose unaona mm-hmm. so siku siku sema ati kwa nini amemchukua manini nilio na maybe aliona nita ninaekea bado gharama mm. na maybe i did the good thing si kutaminate yo mbali mchukua yes. willingly yes. so mimi si kuona hata nilisema mm-hmm. wacha wili yake ifanyike venye anataka mm. kwa mapenzi yake so kwa kwa you didn't feel anything nili feel lakini ju watu wengi after umeza ukirudi nyumbani so anakuuliza mtoto it was painful lakini ukiangalia tena in that situation unasema yenyewe alifanya for the best of his wewe na unaweza question kwa nini mm. yes yeah, so after hapo nilimaliza mm. ju nilifanywa cs so nikabidi nimekaka yeah, sure. so after nimekaka nikarudi shule tena maisha ya huko mali nilipeleka hakuna venye ningearudi huko tena juu niko na Oscar na hakuna venye eh, ningearudi ningeenda tena boarding juu niko na na Sky CS watatashindwa eh, so ikabidi nimeenda day school so i had to stay na my uncle mwenye mm-hmm. anaishi Rungai mm-hmm. lakini life hukana mtu jazoeana na ye mtu aje kuwa close na wewe ama mtu mjai jua yani nimenenanga tu kumtembelea mara moja mnarudi it was mm. difficult yeah. nikakaka lakini nikaona hiyo kuenda shule pia ninakaa ni kama niko unaona hiyo mm. bado sija cover vizuri bado naenda hivi naona hapana siezani alafu ilikuwa kila time nikaenda nyumbani tunakuorol so niko na twenzani yes so he was the brother to your mom yes the second born so niko na hiyo maisha unajua mtu mjazeana na yeye kukaa na yeye pamoja 
inakonga hard inakonga difficult ya kujui vizuri na wapi mjini ile tu mara mo na hata ujui akikasirika na fire ana reacting aje so ilikuwa difficult for me mimi nikabidi nimepiga simu nikaambia mama ametulea mimi ninataka tu ni nikaezekana naomba unipeleke nilikuwa nimesharudi day uh. high school to normal uh. lakini nikaona niko nyuma bado unajua nimekaa hizo miaka uh. kama mbili nje uh. nikoona iko difficult kwangu si yani hata kama nina perform nilikuwa napata si naona hapana uh. niko tu bado unajua sasa uko peke yako utaki kuona hao watu wengine wa uh. eh, so mimi nikamwambia na ikaezekana naweza nataka kwenda adult classes uh. niachane na nyingine so akakubali kabidi tena nimerudi tena kwa shosho coach mm-hmm. na after in that period ya kungojanga ningoje ningoje hiyo kwenda dot classes mm-hmm. kitu 2015 2014 nikapata mimba tena lakini sasa hiyo naye nilikuwa ninataka mtoto hiyo naye siwezi danganya juu nilikuwa nataka ku replace ile <laughs> ya kwanza mm. ile ya kwanza mm after <laughs> after all i passed after all i passed eh. babaki akukujanga alikujanga na hiyo story tukamaliza so unajua sasa mtoto mwenye alikuwa anatoka pamoja alishaenda hai si tukaambiana kila mtu safari sasa yake ile ende eh, shughuli ishie sasa sasa hii tumefika 2015 eh. umeongozea wale waongendo waongendo ni rudi <laughs> niende sasa nimeshindwa na shule kabisa juu uh-huh. kuna ile wanakuangalia oh ya kuanga anakuanga hivi uh, unaona niko na siezi fit hata nilienda shule anijui lakini nilikuwa naona unajua sasa hiyo unarudi tu nyuma bado. Kwa watu bado wanaongea yeah. kuhusu boyfriend na unajua venye boyfriend ni kubaya. So <laughs> yeah. Na uwezi waambia mimi nimepitia hivi so nina nikakuwa mtu ninaje. Kama uwezi hata je si fit si fit unaona. Mistake nilifanya ningia joy your time here ningeenda mahali niongeleshe mtu hiyo kitu initok okay. lakini hakukuwa na mtu ungeongeleshe hizo vitu ziishe. Yeah. So venye ni in that time nikingoja nirudishwe ya dot classes mm-hmm. naye mimi nilikuwa unajua sasa mtoto umeshaona hivi bado hiyo kitu kutokanga bado kutokanga eh, so nikapatana na kijana mwingine mm-hmm. lakini yeye alikuwa muislamu awa muislamu mm-hmm. so muslim so si tukapendana tu alikuwa tu kijana mzuri si mbaya tuseme mm-hmm. tuki date date hivi kama mwaka nikapata mimba lakini hiyo naye hata sikuwa nataka anisaidie ama nini nilikuwa tunataka tu mtoto mtoi ulikuwa tu replace ule wa kwanza yes ule wa kwanza ulikuwa ni kona tafuta spam dona ni replace ule wa kwanza story sasa niliona nimekaa hizo bado hajanirudisha nikadhani maybe wamesahau nikasema it's time for me to move on lakini in that time ulikuwa unaongea na shosho na mwambie shosho mimi na feel like nataka mtoi sasa Ah by that time una just such a shoju memoka kwa situation kubwa hata story muyuko close so <laughs> unaona mnakosa na kosa mnakosa alafu vitu mingi kama paz na nini inabidi uome jishughuliki na manguo na nini okay. so uyo boy bado ni wa coach eh muislam eh uyo muislam ni wa coach lakini alikuwa tuseme alikuwa tu mzuri to miss no buy yake uh-huh. so nikapata mimba nilimpenga story yako Eh yeah, nilimweleza eh hata alikuwa na juu already so hadi <laughs> hakuna kitu ya ku explain <laughs> so ni ile tu anakujua mm. so lakini yeye yeah, alikuwa tu ready na marriage na kila kitu ni mtu tu alikuwa amekoma already kila kitu ya yeah, tu anaongea vitu si Machua, kama ule wa kwanza eh tukafuta video and now wewe well, unataka spam dona mtoto peke yake mtu, lakini nilikuwa tu kama ataitikia mimi sina stress juu unaona sasa nimengoja hizo hakuna shule ninalipiwa so nikasema mm-hmm. itabidi tu life imeendele so hivyo harakati hivyo nikapata mimba lakini kijana alikuwa very supportive mm-hmm. nguo za mtoto kila kitu hadi hosi kila Ule kitu Ah ah si kuenda kushinda lakini alikuwa very supportive. <laughs> na shosha atachukulia je. Ah hata walikuwa naongea vizuri sana na eh. Hata fi. Jusa ni ndio nilimwambia aje hata nikingojanga nilipiwe maisha yangu bado nasonga si si kwa mdogo unaona. Yeah. Na jusa sasa unajua sasa unajikubalingi hata huko kiangalevu unaona tu sama alimefika. Mhm. Acha tu. Acha tu. Kaende kaende. Eh, kaende tu kaendanga <laughs> tuone mali tatufiki. Tatufikisha. Kijana naye alikuwa ready marriage na nini lakini kufika mahali mm-hmm. akaniambia lazima nikuwe muslim na mimi venye nimelelewa mm-hmm. 
mini Christianity. So ilikuwa ngumu sana ya convert na yeye angeitikia. So mimi nikamwambia itezana hivyo ndio nikamwambia wewe kitu tafanya utakuwa tunasaidia mtu huyu. Lakini kitu naweza sema amekuwa all supportive siwezi sema ati huasaidi. Ana kongo very supportive. Na ndo nikapata mtoto kijana huyo sasa yako 7 years. How do you feel na Kozul one hako interested in a marriage mm-hmm. ataki kuambia marriage mm-hmm. so liko na feel aje your pretense ah iko tu sawa ji mimi mtoto ndo nilikuwa nataka so sikuona big deal azin eh, eh, lakini alikuwa supportive singesema huyo ni mtu hata ningeataka ningeolekanga kwake ni mtu tu mzuri mm-hmm. so si, jo alikuwa supportive sana mm-hmm. na kila kitu So my father a bouncing baby boy. Mm-hmm. How did you feel that this hey. farm done in yako ibingia na dim? Na nilikuwa nimefurahia. Uh-huh. Mtoto. Mhm. Sana sana sana. How kwa na Junior na feeling sasa ya bado atakuja kusafa kama mimi siko wela hapa ma. Hapana mimi kitu hata nilikuwa nimesemanga venye nililani niko na mimba nilisema mm-hmm. nitafanya anything mtoto wangu wa survive. Na hata kama nitalea kama single parent hata wai hata wai ona yani ati baba ayuko unaona yeah. yani nitakuwa baba na nitakuwa mama yeah. yes so shosha ata receive the baby shosha li receive vizuri hadi ma sister zangu wali na wa, walikuwa tu poa kila mtu tu ali receive wa mtoto in fact hata mtoto alipendwa zaidi uh-huh. Hata ungeampata hata si kama wangu ni wa sister wangu first god wetu so <laughs> uh, eh I, I guess ni venye sasa hakuna mtu mwingine alikuwa na kato wewe sasa eh, kila mtu, mtu ana receive <laughs> eh. so hiyo uh-huh. time hata mimi niliona wameni support sana na hiyo time ndio ilikuwa at least kuna vitu niko na hapa huyu anaweza ni support in this way huyu mwingine pia unajua time ndio nanga huyu uh-huh. eh sasa hivyo so sister ko sayo wako form sasa hizo huyu mkubwa ameshamaliza uh-huh. anamaliza form 4 anaenda alikuwa hata actually anaingia university eh na huyu mwingine ndio alikuwa kitu kitu hapo form 3 form 4 ah mimi nikiingia form 1 first bonus already alikuwa ameshamaliza oh, so huyu mwingine ndio alikuwa mbele yangu yes so yeye alikuwa umepata mtoto akiwa akimaliza akiwa shule huyu uh-huh. second bonus wetu akiwa bado shule ndio atoke sasa ah uh-huh. yeah. so wale watajua umepata mtoto. Eh waka nini? Utawapigia bado. Nitawapigia na that time after tu nimepata mtoto hata siku kaa sana after mtu hii nimekaa nimezaa nikapata mtoto akienda kugonga wani ya <laughs> ndio nikapata <laughs> news na fan niende saa shule. So what happened? So si nikangangana hivyo nilikuwa naacha mtu hii na nienda classes. Unaachia shosho mtu. Ah ah sasa hiyo time saa tuka sister yangu si huyu wa university akabata hao uh-huh. akanichukua mimi na mtu hii sasa oh, wow. eh uh-huh. so tuko na kana sister yangu uh-huh. sasa zile classes zake kabidi ame switch classes zake za jioni ndio mimi ni allow hiyo time ya kwenda hiyo asubuhi okay. class hadi saa 7 eh uh, that's eh. wonderful mm-hmm. so hata mtu hii hajuangi nani mama eh, hakuwa yani anajua ni nani mama anajua wote tunampenda <laughs> sisi wote watatu eh hakuwa na shanga anaita huyu mwingine ni mama alafu wale mama na sana sana hata alikuwa anapenda first born wetu kunishinda jiende anakaa na yes sana <laughs> yeah, yeah i get mm. so mapata mtu hii amekam umerudi shule mm. amesha shule itakuwaje hii kukua mbaya juu nilenda dot classes alafu after nilimaliza nikashikwenda nikaenda maneno ya hair dressing so siezi sema ati ilikuwa ngumu at least nilikuwa na watu wa kunisupport in each and every way nani mikono tu inafanya kazi eh, peke yake eh, so umefanya head dressing mm, umemaliza eh, ama hukumaliza nilimaliza uh-huh. na tuseme tu kazi unaje kuanzishia job ndio shida mm, eh, so unafanya kwa mlango ukisikia lakini vibarua ukisikia hapa kule mm. unaenda wow sasa umemaliza kos kazi una hasola haso mm. hivi unaenda ukiambia nani najua kushuka eh ama uliko na shuka season na na shukana wanani marketia but even ndo kunaenda mm. <laughs> so umeanza ku market wewe na hairdressing mm. uh, then sasa 
kutendaje Okay, kitu hata nilikuwa nasaidiwa sana kama rent tulikuwa tunalipiwa na the one mwenye ametumea unaona wow. so it was easy for us Nini food na shop too? yes hata food so ni kitu tu kidogo kidogo jadi diaper alikuwa ananisaidia pia unaona so vitu mingi vitu kidogo kidogo maybe ni nguo za mtoi na nini so nikienda na hustle hivi juu at that point nilijifunza kuna kuchagua kazi yeah ndoda kazi yote ikikuja wewe unachapa as long as ni kitu ikuletee shida baadaye iko tu sawa so tukaendelea hivyo ndio nikaenda tuka shift nika shift tulikuwa na kala kisama mm-hmm. nika shift tukaenda place na jita mole mtononoka mm-hmm. after mole mtononoka ndio nikapatana na the dad ya u second born ngoja mwere mm-hmm. tumeenda kwa nini mole mtuli shift juu hiyo time ya elections mm-hmm. laki kuna kuongo na hizo vurugu vurugu kiasi mm-hmm. so tuka shift tu jua kuo so ya na niko na mtu ya yes, sikabidi tume shift uh-huh. ku shift tukaenda tukakaa mole mm-hmm. by that time my auntie alikuwa nakaa hapo hivyo tononoka mm-hmm. enda akatuambia kuna hadi nyumba kujeni mkae na huko mm-hmm. kuenda hiyo karakati ya kukaa huko tuli shifting kitu elections za kwanza ndio uhuru arudi second term Uh, 2017. 2017 yes tukahama hiyo tukakaa tukakaa mhm ndio tukapatana na the dad wa second born mkipatana sasa alikuwa mali tunakaa plot hapo next sasa alikuwa ndio brother brother yake brother yake ndio amejenga hapo nyumba yake so unaona anakuja kumuona day in day out yes akikuja kumtembelea so ameona kasichana mm-hmm. anatambua uko na mtu yeye maana na eh alikuwa anaona niko tu na mtoto si unajua lazima nitatembea na mtoto so anaona eh sasa ameona this beautiful lady mm-hmm. amekuja ni alikuwa approach ama kulenda aje Yeah tu ndio ile by the way tumananga tu sweet tu sweet hapo mtoto wa mtoto wao anamuita anko akatubayanga tu kwa tumekaanga hapo so hiyo <laughs> time ndio sasa alikuwa anatumia means na toy eh hadi kwanza na kumkalipeana <laughs> alipeana ati namba niletee na ni simu yake niandike namba ati kuna kazi <laughs> na mimi kusikia kazi na mimi niko na mtoto wao akilangwa ati kugonga kitu kingine so nikapeananga tu namba eh so Vibes zikaanza. <laughs> lakini na yeye tumekaa sana, tulikaa sana 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 sana. Ndio nikapata mtu huyu. So, ulikuwa na feel your love ama bado ilikuwa? Ah, unajizoza kwa akili yangu, mimi nilikuwa nasema anga kuna venye mtu atanipenda na mtu wangu, ati atapenda mtu wangu venye. Sasa uh, wewe napenda mtu wangu. Mentality ya love na mtu. Na mtu na sana na sana haikuwa. mtoto wangu haikuwa. Hadi nilikuwa nasema anga, I miss tawai kuja kuoleka. Jio kitu imeshatoka tu kwa akili yangu. Wow. Sasa umepatana na mtu wako interested. Mm. Unamchukulia aje uone nikaa na GST at two time. Hapana unajaza sasa unasema anga within unajaza kitu na nilikuwa nasema anga mtu atapenda mtu wangu ndio nitaona. Mm-hmm. Lakini niki unajaza fia yangu pia ilikuwa nikuje nikuzalie tupendane utapenda mtu wako kushinda wangu wangu wa kwa left out hiyo ndio nilikuwa na na ufia. Tukakaa kutoka 2018 tuka date lakini hata kama si unajua kuna ile support atakupatia juu yeye yeah, ni kukatiana so yeah. mi bado hustle na chapa kama single parent tu kila kitu mm. eh yeah. yeah, kwa tu hapo kaspea yeah. so ikafika time hiyo time akinikatea ikafika time sister yangu ikabidi tena ame shift so, so nikabaki peke yangu so ile ka hustle ka lazima nilipe rent <laughs> na lazima full map na bidi umengangana so mtu hii by then alikuwa alikuwa around 3 years 3 years 2 years ndio anataka kuingia shule uh-huh. so lazima unganga ungangane eh so unangangana unaenda unaenda unachapa hustle sasa hata kuna time nyingine nilimaona best yangu kuna kazi mm. ya wine and spirit hata sikuwahi jua kufungua hata <laughs> pombe hata sijui lakini ukienda hapo inabidi umengangana unajua <laughs> kwanza hizo chupa za gilbe zilikuwa zinadunga huko lakini unabidi umengangana juu ukifikiria mtu huyu eh. unaona lazima tu so mapiga biz ukihasol yeah. utafuta the better ways yeah, to maintain uh, this to, inakwambia lakini sasa kama yeye ya wine spirit nilikuwa nendanga 
6 asubuhi narudi kitu saa 4 hapo niko na pia naumiza mtoto niko na siezani nikaachanga nikaingilia hii ya kushona beats hizi bracelets nikangangana at least ilikuwa sawa una una save kilipwa juu kwa siku hata ungeashona mingi na ulipwa hata tao ama ita ndio una so una feature nyingine hivyo ya nyumba eh so mtu ukienda kwa wellness spirit ulikuwa na mwacha deke nilikuwa na mwacha na kazini yangu kazini yangu pia madhe yake alichanga akiwa katoto kadogo so kamelewa na shusho yangu so hako ndo nilikamilimchukua tukakana eh so alikuwa ananiangalia mtu mimi nikienda job okay so me mpiga bracelets kutengeneza vitu artistic na ornamental so tumekuwa warembo umeanza ku save save do huyu boys bado mko na yeye by that time Nasema wewe cha Elias tuko na yeye lakini unajua sasa kupati ile support. Unajua sasa uweze anza kukuona mtu anza kumwambia nilipe nyumba na nini na nini. So ilikuwa tu mdogo mdogo eh. Mhm. Mm. So ali itakujaje upate sasa mimba ya tatu? Ya ya tatu. Ezin sasa unajua ilifika mahali sasa huyu cha Elias akaanza kupata do sasa vizuri. Anatufanya. Kwani alikuwa anafanya kazi gani? Si 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 sema na just ndio umejana na uwezi shindo gauliza mtu wewe na wewe unaona so ilifika mahali akapata job tu mzuri kwa kazi yake amemwandika hiyo saidi utawala so alikuwa anakujana na shopping tu mzuri ananisaidia mala naweza unaona juu bado ananikati ukaanza kuona future yes nikasema hapa eh hizi niona mtoto ili change ama eh jioni hiyo mairia nilikuwa nakaa watu wengi walikuwa nanizanga usa ni sasa mnakaa na yeye hata kusaidi kitu ni wa nini lakini sio ukiangalia hivi unaona jua napenda mtoto wako ako sawa ako tu sawa eh so ameanza kukusaidia eh ameanza kukusaidia mentality imechange imeanza kuchange mdogo mdogo lakini si fully uko shingo upande eh ni kwa shingo upande so umekuja aje kupata mtoto nilika juu ilifika at some point mm. family yake nao kijana anasema venye ninakula pesa za kijana simzali oh, sasa chali eh ameshaanza <laughs> hadi kulipa nyumba kila kitu sasa ameniambia nikae kwa nyumba nikae kwa nyumba eh wewe sasa ni housewife lakini sasa hata eh lakini hata nikikaa kwa hiyo nyumba yangu bado tu nilikuwa natengeneza tu vitu zangu ile nisikose tu bdu unaona eh Juni mtu nimeweza kuhasa so sikosi. Kwani alikuwa amekupeleka kwa wazazi wake? Tuseme ni walikuwa nakuja na nenda na wasalimia, unaona? Lakini si unajua through difficulty za familia mingi ujui unajua uki, u, kwa boma zingine ujui venye ziko ama zingine, unaona? Kila unapata ngai ni different ni di, different. So at a point unapata hiyo familia iweze kukubali si usiko na mtu hii. Mm. Unaona? So it was a bit challenging. So ikabidi tu ningangane nimpe unajua sasa hiyo mentality kusema juu ninaangalia kijana wangu nasema anahitaji pia baba wa kumlea. Unaona? Yeah. Sasa ninasema mimi nikimlea hata kuwa na ile kuona mtu Amel figa hapa ya kukopi hiyo. So ikabidi tu nimekubali ndio nione ama kutachenge. Sasa Boy ni alikuwa anataka mtoto sana ama hata ni wazazi hata yeye pia alikuwa anataka ah lakini unajua sasa kwa boma mingi wataongea unakula pesa za kijana za wao kijana. waoni so wanasema huyu hata hizi mzaleo ni kukula tu pesa so unajua boma zingine tu venye zinakwanga huyu hata ni kukula tu pesa kuna mali walikuwa walikuwa na nakuja clean na kuambia ama walikuwa na ah, ah, so unajua unasikiza tu funufu ruma su unaona <laughs> <laughs> Lakini nikakuja nikaandasanjo hata mimi nilikuwa na watching stories za watu wengi naona yenyewe ni kweli uh-huh. boma mingi kabla kubalike lazima upitie shida mingi shida mingi eh sasa shida yako mingi ilikuwa ruma ruma <laughs> tunaambiwa eh umeambiwa hivi oh, inabidi tu umekubali eh so ukaanza ku try venye utapata mtu eh. Eh. Okay sasa so, so, ka safari kakuta mtu safari kakuta mtu mtu ndo sasa mali ilikuwa mbaya nime after nilipata first bond wangu si nikaambia family plan nikaanza ile ya mezita kumbe pia itani damage unaona so the more anasema wanataka mtoto pia mimi sipati sasa jio family nimekaa miaka 2 nimetumia tena nimekaa ingine kasi tumi 
jukiangalia distance yao fast bonongo kwa 7 na huyo mwingine 1 and a half ameachana na miaka 6 so na tuliko natumia so ya 3 months 3 months 3 months 3 months so kumbe ina ni kama ina damage sijui juu ni ka mwezi ni zoe so hata ni sipo dungu hata sio ni stress nikakaa 2 years na shindo ameacha kutumia lakini sipati mpate mtu lakini finally nikakuja nikapata mtu huyu sasa hebu tuambie tunasemanga contraceptives zindakuanga siku hizi kuna to chinese hebu mm. ambie watu how how difficult it was for you to pata huyo mtoto hey, nilika nimeacha kutumia msahi mai sana kwa 4 years uh-huh. au ameanza kuongea unaona mmeshajua na only two years umeanza kuongea uh-huh. ni kwa like lazima nipate mtu huyu so ducha limo na amekusaidia nileta kutumia for 2 years na bado sipati so nilikalek so for the whole of 2 years how to mean si to mean bad lakini nina bleed sana unapata kwa mnaweza bleed mwezi mzima heavily yeah. so at that time unapata au ana ku stress unasikia rumors mm. wewe pia mwili yako ina change completely pia kuna mtoto anafaa ingia ameingia shule fees pia mm. na jewe hizi depend kwa kile mwambie fees nitumie hiyo yes, time baba ya huyu kijana ameshafanya marriage ameshafanya kuoana eh uwezi shinda kwa simu hata huyu mwingine atashindwa eh na uzuri nilikuwa nimemwambia mimi sina stress bisiezi convert wewe au watu rosa so ni juu ya mimi kumwambia bia wewe singeashinda na simu ati mtoto nini mm. mimi nikasema acha niwapatie time wakwe wa settle wa kwanza mm. ile siku ataamua kusaidia mtoto atamtafuta okay. yeah. so imekam umepata mimba sasa mm. nimepata mimba eh hey, nimepata mimba tena kupata mimba ndio hiyo tena stress maneno tu za familia tena aje ikabidi so alikuwa anataka upate eh hey, lakini si unajua kuna time kuna vitu zenye unajua boma huwa zinakuwa na maneno mengi si hizi sema ati kila boma ni perfect unaona yeah. na before msiana akubalike kwa boma lazima tu vitu zikuwe unaona mm-hmm. so kukuwa kwa na shida shida kidogo Sasa shida zako hapo zilikuwa gani shida tu zilikuwa more hiyo maneno ya kusema ni pesa tu mara wanasema mimba yuko kwa ya nini ya kijana yeah, wao oh, yes juu ni na kama msiana mjanja familia bwana eh hey, na kama mjanja so ikabidi nene step off kwanza so, bado mko my neighbors na brother yake ah ah nika shift after, after walianza maneno mimi nika shift ngini shift kama after tumejana for three years nika shift nikaenda mali pengine uh-huh. ndo ni mu avoid okay. yes so wanaendelea rumors eh lakini sasa shida ni yeye yeah, hata kisemekana hivyo yeye tu anamfuata unaona okay. yani tuna Ah, kona hapa na he huu mtu hata anasimama unajua kwa hiyo maisha jaleno na baba alafu napata mwanaume anasimama hata mbele ya familia wao anawaambia mimi nataka huyu mm. unaona yeye huyu ananipenda ukweli na kitu mzuri alikuwa anapenda biki jana wangu mm. so venye nilipata mimba msana wake hata aliniambia nisishinde nikiambia watu mm-hmm. lakini ukiangalia hivyo Unajua after umeambiza maneno hiyo period ukiwa na mimba ukisikiza maneno mengi hata wewe akili yako inachoka. So ikabidi nimehama kwanza nikae tu mahali ni place julikani yes, start a fresh eh, eh. So nikakaa actually hata nilikaa kwa sister yangu first born wetu alinichukua for like six months nikakaa kwake hadi nikapata do na nikiwa tu bado na mimba nilikuwa naenda job nikapata Gani, do ya kushi uko na mimba Nilikuwa naenda job hustle tu. Mimba ilikubali kazi. Mimba hadi dakika ya mwisho <laughs> nikapata nyumba nika nikaingia uh-huh. nikaanza kulea hadi mali I guess hiyo kijana alienda akaona uh-huh. tulika after nilipata mimba kutoka m- the first two months tukuongea sasa eh ilikuwa na mimba use ya kastiana kangu uh-huh. tulika almost like m- almost hiyo mimba yote throughout hakuna venye tulikuwa tunaongea communication no, imekata kabisa eh hey, umekata off nime eh hey, so ilikuwa difficult since sema ilikuwa raha juu nilikuwa najaribu maybe kutafuta venye ile ingine ya kwanza ingekuwa <laughs> mzuri kama kushinda ile ya kwanza hii at least kuwe mzuri ilikuwa mzuri eh hey, so venye nilika 
nikapata mtu huyu lakini alikuja nikali enda akafikiria mawazo yake akaona hapana mtu wangu sitaacha sasa kuja before uende hosi alikuja before na kaacha by the way nibamanga sana jo alikuja na kaacha do before niende na after nimeza pia yote ni hosi ndo alinipia kali gharamia pia vitu vingi alikuja siku umeenda hosi ulikolo kamsho umeenda hosi alikolo na sister yangu akiambia nimepata mtu idim ndio akanipigia simu at that time nilikuwa napiga simu hata achukujwa hata yeye pia unajua misezi mlaumu kwa nini familia yake na mpush hivi pia yeye na hata yeye na, na yeye pia ako confused hivi, anataka hivi lakini wa support so mimi singe amlaumu juu alikuwa amesimama na mimi kabisa kuna venye anaweza amblame niseme hata kusimama na mimi mm-hmm. mm. wow 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 so umepata Benson baby girl mm-hmm. alafu sasa sasa sai tu sasa did it go with the family yao na walikubali mtoto mtoto nayo wamekubali ali alitoka kopi yao eh unajua mtoto wa kwanza mtoto akishasema hivyo asijui ni nini anatokanga exactly eh na mimi kitu anaenda hadi na generation na kuambia eh so at that moment ndo nilikuja nikaona by that time hiyo period ya kuwa na mimba na kuninizo ma negative hizo zote ndani nilikuwa najiuliza kwa nini mimi ndio napita hizi shida zote vitu zinajiripeat lakini mm-hmm. nilikuja nikasema mm-hmm. maybe kitu mzuri itakuja kufanyika baadaye so ulikuwa tuna hopes something good will come will out come. of it alafu kitu pia nilikuwa nanipatia encouragement ya kuendelea na life uh-huh. ni kuangalia my son amefika 7 years huyu uh-huh. mwingine niki struggle tu hivyo school fees ajifukuzwa manini uh-huh. yani ninanipatia hiyo motisha ya kusema hata huyu pia nitangangana hata kama amefanya nini yes na bado support ya kupata kutoka kwa familia yako na wenye pia wameoana wameoa kwenu na wenye wameolewa kwenu so ilikuwa poa So uh, you can say you are a very proud mother. Yes. <laughs> of two. <laughs> <laughs> so mm-hmm. say baba na support to mtoi. Eh uh, sana. Hamko pamoja lakini bado na msa. Tuseme unajua yeye bado tuseme yeye kwa upande wake akaulizwa anaweza ataka kusimama na mimi fully. Mm-hmm. Lakini shida anaja ni familia mm-hmm. according to uwezi wa demo kwa na mtoi. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Lakini yeye ajai kosa kuni support in any way. Uh, so there is good men out there. Yes. Na za sema hivyo lakini inapata ngo naangukia. Unaangukia ama waangukiwe unaona. <laughs> so ina depend tu. We guess ulikuwa na lucky star. Ah, ah, Umeangukia wawili wazuri. Nakwambia na like, kuna wengine niko na mimba i don't know you wanapotea eh has life been kwa single mom never say my somehow ni difficult lakini saa zingine unabidi we manage juu kiona hata yeye tukisema kama huyo unajua hizi depend on the both dads mm-hmm. mostly lazima pia wewe uchangamke so what are you, how do they take each other wa kwanza anachukulia je baby sister na baby sister wa kwaje relationship ya watu ikwaje relationship ya wawili naweza say make for strong jo u first born nataka ngikona sister yake akilia hata kidogo hata kuna time sister yake akimchapa na akijiko ama nina na nimeanga mamu simchape ni mdogo bado so na huu mdogo pia ju amezea kukaa na huu mkubwa wake mm-hmm. Huyu mkubwa akienda shule ato K5 amuone kwa geta aone ni yetu naenda kufungudia geta huwa anakimbia kimhag. Aka kadogo kako how old well, unaza tazamaji wanashangaa eh hey, huyu mtoto anakimbia ako mwaka na mezi nane. Imagine mm-hmm. one year mm-hmm. and huyu uh, mkubwa ko 7 years. years yes. Na wanakimbilia. Mm-hmm. How does it feel like a parent? Ah mi mi ufurahia sana hata kitu ina maombi yangu kubwa na semanga hata heri nikose hizo rich riches na hizo vitu zote lakini upendo iko katikati ya wote wawili yeah. hata mi huyu mkubwa na mwambianga unjue nyinyi tu wawili ndio mtapenda na hakuna mtu mwingine atakuja na kitu tena naombanga ni hata watoto wangu kama ni wa waza waza baba different mm-hmm. hilo upendo iendelee kuwa strong na strong wow. eh, isikuwe ni kama tu huyu asikuja kujulishana tunajua si wa baba yangu ni ni a 
Na wewe mdogo wa Sheikh uliza baba mamu inde baba yangu huyu kijana mkubwa kitu mzuri ni kitu mzuri ni anajua huyu baba mdogo huyu baba mdogo ndio baba yake so anajua jua ajaka jua ajakana ule baba yake hata jadi kuna time tushaiende tukapata na huyu baba yake anamuita uncle unaona so <laughs> lakini itafika <laughs> mahali eh yeah, itafika mahali maybe ni nini mueleze babako lakini anakonga amechukuluka babake juna yeye pia amempenda what do you plan to do that what just ile time wana ile time ataanza kuleta question na je tafika mahali sisi sema mm. si ndio nasema unapata nga most household unapata mtu hata kama alikuwa na mtoto mm. watoto wake anapenda sana kushinda huyu unaona yes, so hiyo time itafika mimi nitakuwa tu ready kumwambia Wow. Mm. I'm a very proud lady. Mm. I've been a very proud another mother here. Yes. Karibu ni kuwe mama. <laughs> Sasa shida mimi sijia ma nitakuwa na hiyo like ya boy child amekuja na kuwa supportive. Hiyo ndio shida. You have to to lucky people wana ku support mm. anyway like wewe uko face your rejection ya boy child. Ya kukataa mimba eh. So, ebu ambia girl child ako pale nje. Maybe ako that young age, ako na mtu hii, mm. anashangaa rada. Yeye ni single parent na feel like anafaa ku give up. Stories zinasambaa mara o hiyo bola days. Ebu mm. muambie something. Mimi kitu naweza encourage ni apenda watoto wake no matter what. Mm mistake huwa zinafanyika lakini na depend venye umechukua hizo mistakes hata community kiona ume umechukua hizo mistakes zako na ukakubali you did a mistake na you are ready to own it yes to own it hata mm-hmm. pia wata hata ukisikia mahali kazi watakwambia hey, by the fulani kuna kitu pale unaona yeah. na wasikue wasi wasi wasingie wasi vitu zenye zitafanya watu hii wateseke na pia hiyo story kitu mimi naweza kukuambia ulifanya kitu mzuri kutoa mimba unajua kutoa hiyo mimba ndio ndio shida zaidi ndio shida ndio dhambi lakini juu likubali hata Mungu atakuacha hiyo atashindanga amekusaidia yeah. juu anajua kufanya mistake ya kutoa eh yeah. so mimi mimi nakwambia tu keep up Asante mm. sana uko na sisi. Tume appreciate story yako mm. and I believe a single mom out there. Akiona story yako atakuwa motivated. A new single ladies there mko na ball. Mm. Boy child amekata mtu hii. Yeah? Mm. Please keep that child. Kutoa ndo dhambi ndo mm. tumeambiwa. Uki keep life itakuwa tu fresh. Ila mm. tunasema ngai Steve simple boy fresh bari barida so this is the tuge tv and remember to subscribe share comment and like